So, I'm back again with back-to-back -back political rant videos, as I'm calling them. <laughs> but yeah, there's been a lot of political news the past couple days. Uh, mostly out of the Supreme Court. And their disastrous opinions. Uh, yeah, yeah, first there was a case which uh, I think deserves just as much attention as some of the other big cases, but uh, the, the first one uh, had to do with the separation of church and state and the Supreme Court is tearing down that wall between <coughs> uh, church and state. Uh, they, they said that uh, uh, since the government of Maine, I believe, was a state where the case came out of, uh, the, the government in Maine provides uh, vouchers for private schools, so then that must now include religious schools. So the government now has to pay for kids to go to religious schools. Uh, uh, which, you know, these uh, school, religious schools could be teaching anti-gay and anti-trans and other bigotry, so the government could have to pay, uh, be forced to pay uh, to have kids listen to all that hate. Yeah, yeah, and uh, apparently uh, in Maine and some other Northeastern states, there aren't enough schools, public schools in certain cities, so the government pays for vouchers for families to send their kids to private schools, and the Supreme Court now says this has to include religious schools, which I argue that we should build more public schools or now just don't have the government pay for any vouchers to any private schools. So, so you know, if they're not paying for non-religious private schools and they don't have to pay for religious schools. That's what I say should be done, but who knows what will happen. And uh, another case that, uh, that came out yesterday uh, involved guns and a almost a hundred year old New York law that said people must show evidence uh, that they need to get a gun. Yeah, yeah, they actually need to have a valid reason to get a gun, but now uh, the Supreme Court struck that down. Yeah, and just as the Senate was passing a watered down but very necessary uh, gun control bill. So yeah, that bill I was talking about in the last video uh, passed the Senate. Uh, it better pass the House. I mean, Democrats.
control that too. So I, I think it's going to pass the House of Representatives uh, very easily. <laughs> yeah. And then Joe Biden signs it and then, you know, maybe the Supreme Court strikes it down later because they think more guns equals more freedom. Uh, but I, I've heard in some news articles that police disagree with that argument because they don't want criminals and uh, people who are violent to have guns. Yeah, yeah, they, they actually want to keep guns out of the hands of bad people, which makes sense. Yeah, and, and it makes their jobs easier as well as keeping people alive. Yeah, that'd be, yeah, yeah. Keeping guns out of the, uh, the hands of violent criminals. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, but we'll just have to see if we can implement that uh, in the United States. And then the last Supreme Court case, uh, which just came out today, but we heard, actually, we heard about the verdict like a month ago, about a month ago, which is, of course, the overturning of Roe versus Way. Um, yeah, yeah, there's that leaked draft opinion. Uh, that happened at the beginning of June, I think, and now it, it's official. So, yeah, we're now going back in time, thanks to the Supreme Court. Uh, and, yeah, here in my state of Idaho, uh, I, I know we have a, a trigger law, so I guess now abortion is illegal illegal or re-illegalized, uh, illegal, illegal again here in Idaho as uh, also in like half the country, half the states. Yeah, and also in Idaho, it's been proposed that we outlaw birth control pills and other methods. Just what the what the fuck? Seriously. Uh, I don't know what this country has come to. Yeah. Like my shirt. <laughs> yeah, I I think I got it like. Three years ago, I think. It was just before the pandemic started, but yeah, I really like it. I thought it would go nice with this video. But yeah, anyway, those cases, they are all overturning something, uh, a law, I guess. But yeah, there, there's also this other case that's almost 100 years old. It's, uh, this Supreme Court case called Buck v. Bell, which really needs to be overturned. Uh, unlike Roe v. Way and the New York gun control law. But, but yeah, basically, Buck v. Bell, Buck v. Bell says that it's, it's okay to sterilize 
women who are deemed to be imbeciles. That's the word that they use. And uh, yeah, they, they can sterilize them and make them uh, not be able to get pregnant uh, because they've been deemed uh, to not be uh, fit to be human, I guess. Um, yeah, but it basically comes from the eugenics movement. And uh, the eugenics uh, was actually named from a half-cousin of Charles Darwin, and uh, this, this whole movement kind of was inspired by Darwin and his uh, theory of evolution, and it, their argument is, is just that, well, well, we're just helping along uh, the survival of the fittest movement. Uh, even though, you know, survival of the fittest doesn't really, uh, isn't a good name for evolution. But, but yeah, they, they, they just argue that eugenics would help people who shouldn't be alive or, and if, if you stop them from reproducing, then that helps all of humans. Uh, and they, uh, they don't um, actually define uh, people who are deemed imbeciles and who shouldn't reproduce. Uh, it, it basically just comes down to who's ever not white and able-bodied. Uh, it's been used against people who are blind and deaf and also immigrants uh, and yeah, yeah, that, yeah, in Buck v. Bell, Bell the case uh, ruled uh, that uh, a woman named Bell, no, sorry, the woman was named Buck, and uh, she was deemed to be an imbecile, even though if you actually looked at the evidence, it was clear that it wasn't uh, right. She wasn't an imbecile, but yeah, she was, uh, she lost the case and was sterilized. And this, this was back in the 1920s, so uh, it wasn't a really good experience getting sterilized, uh, very painful, and yeah. But that case, Buck v. Bell, is still on the books, and it hasn't been overturned. And, and it's also been cited in other court cases this century, uh, in the 21st century. Uh, but, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, you know, you, you can also apply the imbecile label to people who are autistic, like, like me. I mean, you know, well, I, I guess I was going to say I, I couldn't be sterilized, but uh, I don't know, maybe, I guess I could 
could be could perform a vasectomy on me uh, without me knowing. Yeah, yeah, and often these women were not told that they were being sterilized. They were just going in for another operation and they ended up getting sterile, sterilized. Uh, and yeah, and the eugenics movement I came up with this whole uh, idea of sterilizing uh, imbeciles and also the, the Nazis stole ideas from the eugenics movement to uh, implement in their, uh, you know, whole their whole movement, I guess, uh, over in Europe. So, yeah, not good at all. And, and yeah, they're, they're still sterile. It's a hard, hard word to say. There's still sterilizations going on. Very recently, there, there was this uh, case in California where the state had to apologize for sterilizing women in prison without their knowledge. Uh, which, yeah, which, which is a violation of human rights. And, and just the fact that Buck. V. Bell is still on the books is frightening. Uh, uh, it, it, the Supreme Court could have overturned it in the 1940s, but they chose not to. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. I think with all these recent Supreme Court cases and Buck v. Bell, uh, oh, and also like the January 6th hearings that those are going on now, and and yeah, there's still a lot of Republicans on Trump's side and fighting. Uh, for what Trump wanted uh, and trying to take over the, the whole government. So, yeah, not looking really good. Not good at all. Uh, yeah, the future doesn't look so bright now. Actually looks very dark. But I'm hoping that all of this will re-energize people and get them motivated to go out and vote in the midterms and vote out all, all of the Republicans. That would be really great if that happened. Or at least kept the Republicans from uh, taking over the House and or the Senate. Because if that happens, Republicans could not only undo what uh, Biden and Congress has done in the past two years, but they, they could also make things a whole lot worse and pass new legislation and uh, all sorts of other stuff that, that would actually make the future even darker. So, I don't know what, I might be cautiously optimistic, 
but losing hope fast because yeah it just seems like we're one step forward and two steps back we Trump is no longer president which is good but he still has a strangle hold on the Republican Party uh, and all those other wackos or maybe I should call them imbeciles I don't know, maybe, but all these other people who are just trying to uh, get rid of democracy, I guess that's, that's, that's the best way to put it, nicest way, but yeah, yeah, so, uh, Anyway, now this video is even longer than my last video. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And I'll, I'll put more information below about um, the Buck v. Bell case and other Supreme Court cases below in the description because it, it it yeah the Buck v. Bell case needs to be talked about a lot more uh, and more people need to know about this uh, and hopefully it gets overturned within my lifetime that would be, that'd be really great to see But yeah, we need to get more people to learn about it and support uh, overturning it. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, and yeah, and yeah, and basically just move forward, move the country forward. Instead of backwards, like, like we're going. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's the end of this rant video. I could make a whole other video just about Buck v. Bell, which maybe I will. Uh, I'll just have to see. But yeah. Yeah, so that's it for another uh, long rant video. So until next video, which may or may not be another rant video, goodbye.